Welcome to the Mental Toughness Academy for Youth Sports. This video is the beginning of a series for coaches to learn how to teach mental toughness to their athletes. Now, let's start off by what is mental toughness? Well, first of all, you probably all know there is no generally agreed upon definition. So I'm just going to give you mine and we're going to go with that today. And it comes down to these four items. Focused, an athlete who's focused, who's confident, who's determined, and resilient. And be able to bring those under pressure, right? Pretty much sums it up. You can fit some other resources, categories, and uh, mental skills under any one of those. So what is a mental toughness trainer and how is that different than sports psychologist, which I am not. Well, I come from a little bit different area, okay? I believe that uh, a lot of the things sports psychologists are teaching are fabulous, and I borrow and use a lot of those techniques, and you're gonna hear some of them here today. But I really believe that we need to go a little bit deeper, especially with kids, okay? They have these underlying beliefs and what I call programs, which are also just their values, that create this interference that gets in the way of their performance. And a lot of times, the usual, you know, you gotta fix their self-talk, you gotta get them to visualize, and you gotta get them to breathe. Those are all great things, and I teach them too, but they're not enough. Many of you know kids who, I've heard many stories, with lots of clients who, right before an event, they're about to throw up, or they actually do. Yeah, I see lots of coaches' heads nodding. I see um, different athletes with blocks. Literally, I work with some pole vaulters who, sorry, not going today, just cannot plant the pole. Or jumpers who just, that's it, stop, hold themselves, not going. Uh, and this is the kind of thing that lies at the deeper levels. So I have uh, three parts today to teach you uh, my tools and techniques and strategies that you can pass on to your athletes and also learn for yourself. And I gathered most of them, like I said, just from working with athletes. And I specialize in working with teen and, and, and uh, pre-teen athletes. And it's my passion because I found that when these kids don't learn the right perceptions, create some uh, negative programming, this stuff stays with us our whole life. And all of you as coaches, you want this, and as parents, and I'm a parent of a couple of athletes myself, what is it that we want from sports participation? We want them not only to win and experience a joy of accomplishment and success, but we want them to learn life skills, right? We want them to learn discipline. We want them to learn perseverance, right? We want them to learn to set a goal and achievement. This is really what sports is about for me. And what's really great about the mental game and, and the types of tools that I'm going to teach you here is that you can practice them everywhere. And this is, what I, this is what I teach all my athletes, and I encourage you to do this with, with your kids as well, with your athletes. You can practice what you're learning here, not just on the field, not just in training when you see me, but bring it to the rest of your life. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.